everyone. My name is Morgan Hibbs and I'm the Education Outreach Coordinator for Lynn County Farm Bureau. I'm so excited to be visiting your classroom. I am sad to not be there in person, but with technology, I'm able to visit you virtually. Today, I'm going to introduce a fun classroom unit called Pizzathon. This is not only a classroom unit, but it can also serve as a competition, a friendly comp competition for your classroom. Today, we are going to look at pizza and where the ingredients come from. So agriculture is important to all of us. Not all of us live on a farm. Most people today live in town. Less than 2% of America's population is involved in production agriculture. Yet, if I was there in person, I might ask you the question, how many of you live on a farm? Few of you might have your hands up. But then if I ask the question, how many of you ate breakfast, lunch, or dinner, hopefully all of your hands go up. We are all involved in uh, agriculture and it's important to know where our food comes from. So today we are going to learn about pizza and where our ingredients come from and how they travel from the farm to our plate. Now this Pizzathon competition, today I'm going to be going through one way that you can conduct this in your classroom. But you can also modify or adjust Pizzathon to fit the needs of your specific students, your class, or your situation. Let's go through and talk about what Pizzathon is. It's a journey of how our ingredients get to our pizza. Have you ever wondered, where does pizza come from? I mean, really wondered. Where does the cheese, the crust, and the toppings come from? How about bacon? I love bacon. Where does bacon come from? How do the tomatoes get from the farm to our pizza? These are all of the questions we are going to be researching and hopefully by the end of Pizzathon, you will have an answer to. Here are some photos of where our ingredients might come from. So we have dairy cows, pigs, beef cows, vegetables, and wheat. I have a few examples here to show you. So we have a wheat stock here. Wheat is used to make what? Flour, the pizza crust. So it starts off as a plant and it starts off in a, a large stock like this and the combine harvests the seeds. So here is a bag of harvested seeds that will be taken to a mill to be ground into flour. Now if we take beef as an example, what do beef cows eat? Do the cows eat something different than the feedlot calves? What is a feedlot? What's a market calf? What's the difference between beef and dairy? Here is a feed bag of an example of feed that might be given to a market steer. What's a steer? These are all different questions hopefully you will be researching in your competition pizza-thon. Okay, now let's talk about dairy calves. What's this? What does it look like? Looks like a baby bottle, but a lot larger of a baby bottle. Who might drink out of this? Maybe a dairy calf. Why would a dairy calf need to drink out of a bottle? Because the dairy cows are giving us milk. So the farmers take care of the babies while the cows take care of us. So this is also something you might research. Have you ever noticed that cows can tend to have a earring in their ear? It's not really an earring, but it is called an ear tag. What are ear tags used for? How do the farmers label the ear tags? How do they use ear tags to identify one animal from another? When do they tag the calves? Does it hurt to tag the calves? It usually feels just like an earring where you have, might have a slight pinch, but then it heals and it no longer hurts the animal. How come they don't just name the calves? These are all things that you are going to be researching through Pizzathon. You will be split into small groups of four to six your challenge is to discover how pizza ingredients go from the firm to the slice. How will I learn where my pizza ingredients come from? 
You and your teammates will decide on a pizza to make. Each of your teammates will choose an ingredient to research. So you will have a team of four to six friends and in your team, you will be divided up into different toppings or ingredients for your pizza. You can work together to help each other research, but you as an individual are in charge of one ingredient to become an expert in how it's brought from the farm to the pizza. Some of the research questions that you will want to cover include, where does my ingredient come from? How does it grow? How does my ingredient get to my pizza? What state produces my ingredient? And why is my ingredient healthy? So what makes it healthy and how does it nourish our bodies? Competition. When your research is completed, you will, and your teammates will put together a PowerPoint presentation. This is where, as a class, you can decide if this is the route you would like to go. Other options, you can do a PowerPoint presentation, you could do a research paper, a mini poster, you could do a team poster. Uh, so there's lots of different ways. If you are doing this virtually with students, you could have them uh, present via Zoom. Uh, so there's lots of ways that you can uh, present the information as a class. So get the pizza topping approved by your teacher. Decide who is going to research what. Each teammate will take one ingredient roll. So the ingredient rolls include the meat topping, which could be bacon, sausage, hamburger, Canadian bacon. We have two toppings of meat, vegetable toppings. This person will also research the tomatoes that will be made into the sauce. So include tomatoes as your one vegetable, and then you can choose another vegetable like green peppers, uh, yellow peppers, uh, onions, olives, things like that cheese, and wheat for the crust. If there are only four members in your group, then please have one person choose two meat toppings. Where do I keep my research? So it's really important that you keep your research someplace safe. You don't want to lose your research. All of your hard work of going and finding this information, answering those questions, and I would hate for you to lose it. So you can keep it on a notebook piece of paper in a folder where your teacher asks you to keep your research at the end of each time that you bring it out to, to work on it. Or you could keep it on your tablet or a computer on a Word document uh, or maybe in a Google Doc. So wherever your teacher would like you to keep your information, but make sure that you are going to be responsible and keep track of that information. Now it's time to research, but where do you find the research? Where can you find this information? And how do you know if a link online is credible? Well, I have a kit here that is going to help you. There is a kit that has been dropped off at your school, and if you don't have a kit, if you are doing this Pizzathon uh, competition without the kit, all of these resources are available online. But inside of your kit, there is a teacher binder, and inside the teacher binder, I'll just go over this briefly for the teachers, there is a flyer with information about Pizzathon, a Pizzathon kit supply list, and then there's a, a lesson plan or description of Pizzathon with a rubric to help you grade the presentation and to help the teacher know what kind of questions you should be looking for in your research and how the students presented. So there is a rubric and then at the back there is research links for all of the different toppings. So there's a document for this but there's also to make life a little easier there is a flash drive in the kit that has the link that you can email to your teachers or to your students and they can have it on their Google Doc or they can have access to the links so they can click on them directly. Some of the different resources included in the links include online stories like My Family's Beef Farm or My Family's Pig Farm. So these are two publications that are available on our research links. There's also credible web websites like uh, the Iowa Pork Producers, Iowa Cattlemen's, things like that, uh, Midwest Dairy. And then there's also uh, videos from chats 
of local farmers here that are sharing the story of how they raise their animals or grow their crops. Uh, so I encourage you to send that Google Doc to your students or that document or to have it available to them so that they have credible sites to go to. Also in your kit, the first thing you'll find is a map. This will help your students know where the ingredient grows or where it's raised. So here's a map of the United States and it has small pictures of it of what uh, commodities grow where. So this won't tell you exactly what the top producing states are, but this will help you start to get an idea of where your ingredient comes from. We also have a food and farm facts book. Some Iowa Ag Today publications. These are general agriculture information knowledge, but if you go into the inside, there are specific information about different commodities. You just will have to dig a little bit. So we have some Iowa Ag Todays in here. Here is a dairy ag mag. Pizza Ag Mag. So this is going to be a great resource for your students uh, looking at the different ingredients that come from pizza and a lot of the information they are asked to find will be found in here and there is even career spotlights on the back. Of now there are a classroom set of each of these in the kit uh, but I encourage you also to send out that document with a lot of the links. Okay, now my research is done. I would like you as a team to be creative to come up with a pizza company name. So this one, for example, from a couple years ago, this one's called King Pizza. So I'd like you to be creative and come up with a team name. Ready for your presentation. Just some, a few tips. So add pictures and uh, include your research to those questions. Use easy to read fonts and colors. This is really important. You'll notice I have a white background with a dark color of font. I'm using a clear picture. Uh, I have bullet points so that it's easy to read. Uh, so these are things that you can work on as you improve upon your presentation skills and your design skills. Practice, practice, practice. Begin practicing your presentation with your team. You can practice your individual research uh, component to the project, but then also practice as a team. Make sure that you know the order that everyone is speaking in. Uh, each person will present on their own research and try to have your presentation stay around six to eight minutes uh, so that way we can make sure everyone has a chance to present in the class. Your research just to uh, go over the questions one more time. Where does my ingredient come from? How does it grow? How does my ingredient get on my pizza? What states produce my ingredient? Why is my ingredient healthy? So those are the five questions I would like you to answer. And that is our pizza thon competition. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me and I'd be happy to answer those. And here are the links, just to give you an example of what that document looks like. So they are split up into the category or the ingredient. So we have beef, it has videos, websites, publications, dairy, pork, wheat, vegetables, and nutrition. Thank you everyone for watching, and I can't wait to hear how Pizza Thon goes for your class.